Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Episode 28 of the raid series. Um, I think we should just go back into another raid on interchange. To be honest with you. Um, database part one. We haven't turned in yet. But let's do that right now. Why do I always forget? Who has this task? <laughs> I always forget this kind of stuff. It's a drag man. Yes, it is. There we go. We get database part two. Get the Oli cargo route documents, and then we also have to kill more scavs and mark the tanks. Um, and I kind of want to continue the Ragman storyline. Um, also, we have to turn in as much, um, as many, I should say, dollars as we can, um, because obviously that is going to be quite some help. And we will unlock the peacekeeper tasks while doing that so in order to get peacekeepers tasks unlocked you have to hand in all these dollars to our friend Skir. so without further ado let's just jump straight into an interchange raid We're going to bring the same loadout we've been using for quite some time and uh hopefully we can actually mark these tankers <laughs> So for this raid, we actually don't have to go inside the moor at all. Because we want to mark the tankers, kill some scavs. We can do all that from outside. Outside is kind of dangerous if people are trying to do their shooter born in heaven. Other than that, it should be fine. We have a long range scope. So we um, should be able to at least uh, keep a good eye out on whatever is happening. But we are probably just going to do a stash run. Okay, so spawn that one. <clears throat> Excuse me, boys. Okay, that's one. Then there's another one right here. What's our extract looking like? Railway. Okay. Um, I might cut this one really short. This raid. Someone always spawns over at the power station there. Going to have to be a little bit careful here. Going to take a peek at these sashes here. Oh, gold mine. Fairly certain there's going to be someone in or around the power station. So I'm going to take it as slow as I can. Since we spawned on this side right here and we have the railway extract, like I said, might have to cut this raid short. Just plant these two um, beacons and try and get out. Just because I'm not a huge fan of going against the grain of a map.
just going to listen out here for a second. Like the person that spawned here did not loot here at all. What's that? Six pack. That's most likely useless. Kind of forgetful so on this account i don't i don't remember if we turned in all the amelia to jaeger yet my brain works like that okay don't judge me xeno actually sells for quite a bit like 17k right now i think Kinda of hoping that was a PSU. Okay, so the CB14 key is actually a good one. That does sell quite a bit. Even just getting out with this is a profit. Like, it's not great by any stretch of the imagination, but... Could go for the last tanker, which is on the road. We'll probably run into a couple of um, scabs while we're at it. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yep. That's interesting. So there's still fighting outside here. That was either an AK or an AKM. It's 
sounded like it was a little bit further than... Right over here, but... I'm not sure if I want to go all the way down the road now. I mean, we have a full backpack, and sure, it's not best stuff. We're not in a position to be. Okay. We have a corpse. That must have been the fighting I heard though. Going to take a look. Right, so they did kill each other. level one seven and thirty That's good enough. Right. That was the AK we heard.
We literally, we literally have a carrying limit for, of nothing. It's so dangerous to just be running along this road. We need to get to the last marking. Give it a second to get our stamina back. It's most likely going to be a couple of scabs around here. Dude, this gun is so loud. There's the tanker. Yeah, yeah, stop panting. All right. Okay, I dropped the mag on accident. There you go. Let's move. This 7 and 31 is probably going to be quite expensive. <laughs> the fucking scab scared the shit out of me, dude. Right, someone's looted these stashes, so I'm just going to push to the edge of the map here. And um, that's, most of the time that's the best route you can take, because you have little hill on your left. We're in some sort of ditch. That kind of gives you a little bit of cover.
But it's also like if someone does decide to camp this extract, you're kind of shit out of luck anyway. So they can just wait till you're at the train. Then at that point, there's not much you can do anyway. I'm going to lie, I'm, I'm quite happy with how the SR25 we built is functioning. I think it's quite good. So that's another task done. That's a good run. We found a couple of items we might need for a task later on. I'm not sure if... Um, if we're going to go into interchange again soon i don't think so because we need the only logistics key to get further with this task um i think i want to focus on the therapist tasks for a little bit to unlock some more tasks in um what do you call it shoreline because shoreline is uh, an important part of the early game because of the punisher series and um if we have it so that we can push through that and we can get the Epsilon container. But Shoreline is good money. Because everyone's really geared Shoreline now. Uh, this was a task with Fragman. So we need Cowboy Hats and Ushanka Hats. Um, I'm going to have to check how much those are right now. Here we just have a couple of task items in a body armor. It's a level 4 body armor, so we might be able to use that. Or well, we're definitely able to use it. Might not want to anytime soon. So the cap is needed, ram is needed, bulbs for the hideout, gas analyzer I think I can sell. I don't need the meds for anything, really. Sell the gunpowder in the lunchbox. All right. I'm actually quite glad we found this Mosin. Not because of anything particular, but Mosins with a Bramid like that are quite expensive. And as soon as we start getting to the point where we need to do Shooter Born in Heaven, then that's actually... That comes quite in handy. So we get two big fuels. Which means we can probably sell the other fuel we found. I don't know if this is still found in raid. Yes it is. How much do people sell this for? Okay. Right. I mean, I do want to keep the uh, one at least one in my uh, hideout, so I do want to have a little bit of fuel. How much is the Zeno? 22 for that and I'll be happy. Let's hand in. There's Wilson's. Grab our money. There we go. We're over a million now. Good. Some LPS. Okay, so what's next? Let's see. We could go customs, find these items, farming path three. We could do that, but I think we should basically just scav run factory real quick. You guys know I like to do that 
it's a very good way to make money just go into a raid on factory and you hope you get an easy extract and if you do you'll be able to just get out and grab like 100 or 150k in gear just by vendoring everything right, we have the camera bunker door extract I'm just going to run for it. There's loads of people. Or probably scabs. And I don't really care for it. Like, this is what I like to do if I need a little bit of money. Uh, we will see how much it is. I'll sell it real quick. It is a run through. It doesn't matter at all because we will be selling everything to the vendors anyway. So just put it like this. That level three body armor you can use. It's definitely better than nothing. But at this point, I feel like I want to use uh, at least level four and preferably level five. Then I don't spend much on the on the. Uh, helmets but I, f I feel like spending 200k on a killer armor is actually worth it so what you want to do you want to sell the therapist it's 15 15k so we were at 1 million 85 thousand It's an easy 100k. It's basically free 100,000 rubles. So that's a good way of making a little bit of extra money. Um, for now, this is it for this episode. It's a little bit shorter than the last one. But we've had two like 40 minute ones and now we have half an hour one. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you do like this series, please make sure to like every single video. It helps so much with the algorithm. Um, I kind of want to try get 30 likes on this video. See if we can reach that. So thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Eddie, out.